the second day of the hackathon event tagged Pay As You Know and organized by the financial services innovators saw different young skilled developers showcasing probable solutions to problems in the financial industry. Our correspondent Nimi Adekombi files in this report. Tech space in Nigeria is saturated with creativity and innovation. And in the financial industry, the impact of these tech companies on Nigeria's economy cannot be undervalued. On the second day of the Pay As You Know hackathon organized by financial services innovators, the importance of financial inclusion in fintech companies was highlighted. Look forward to a positive outlook, knowing fully that uh, the more technology we have, for that it's easy to use and allow consumers to get to the banking or to get into the financial sector, the better for everybody. And that way, cost of transaction is also brought to the minima. Uh, again, the developers and operators also benefit and consumers are able to enjoy better services. We have the financial target of uh, 2020 and the Elfina report is very clear. It shows that we're doing well as a nation and we hope that we're able to meet our target requirement of 80% inclusion by the year, end of December 2020. The Central Bank of Nigeria plays a huge role in ensuring that these financial tech startups are properly regulated. The, like, the role of CBN in regulating tech startups is very important because like, we need an intermediary between the startups and the user. So in the case of like, like, uh, the startups, you know, sometimes the startup might want to just like, exploit the, the end user. So it is important for to come in and regulate everything going on. And, and sometimes, you know, you need a regulator. In, in this case, CBN is a regulator and everything is, is net checkmated because, you know, startups can be, can prove to be like, to show excesses sometimes. So CBN is net to regulate uh, We have met in the, I mean, in the past, we had several meetings with the FinTech and uh, we're looking into tiering our licensing requirement to ensure that we accommodate them. People have often doubted the role of tech startups in Nigeria, but the future looks bright for young developers. I think development is growing. Um, I think it's, we're, we're, we're off to a very good start now. Um, but we, we, um, I think developers just need to just broaden their skills. And, and that's what it is. But I think we have very good developers in Nigeria. Okay, with events like this, I've, I personally know people who, like their first ever tech events or the hackathon, and then since then they've been into tech and then trying to build solutions to help the to help the country, help people in their society and all. Like the number of hackathons I've seen this year compared to last year has actually increased. I'm sure they did not just increase because they have a lot of money to throw, but because of what happened last year and years before that they've actually seen impact that it has made how young developers are building new solutions to help um, to help the society and all. Nigeria certainly has a budding tech space, and its youth are coming up with innovative solutions to solve the nation's problem. For Plus TV Africa, Nimi Adekombi. Thank you, Nimi.